Good morning, people! I hope you are ready to draw! My little daughter is for sure! My name is Dr. Rocker and today I will show you how to draw mechanical or very heavily armed characters like Iron Man, Stormtroopers, Transformers or one of the characters from Stardusk. Stardusk is a brand by Foxforge Toys who will bring out a bunch of action figures from this series this year. Pretty cool stuff! If you should be interested in them toys, link in description. But the best thing about Foxforge toys, they want to do backstories for their characters through comics. And they hired me to do their first comic book cover, isn't that great? Imagine that! A few months ago I told you I would like to draw comic book covers. And here we are, doing my second one already. And you can do it too, just stay on it! So, let's draw! They sent me this for a layout, which is quite funny, but actually it's really quite effective as well. This is supposed to be Commander Elder, surrounded by his soldiers. Due to the lack of details when doing five characters in this pose on a comic book page, we decided to go just with three characters, so we can make them bigger and thus add more details. I already made a frame with the same aspect ratio as the actual paper and laid it out real quick. So there's Commander Elder and two of his best soldiers. They are standing on rocks and there is enough space for the skies and for some neat lettering. So, what do we need to know about drawing heavily armed characters? What we have to do first is to do a gesture drawing plus defining all the major muscle groups. You even should do this when drawing a robot because usually even they are bound to the human anatomy. So let's do this right now! The top of the head from my sketch right here is about two thirds from the bottom, which means in my paper one third, two third, this should be the top of the head. So let's draw! Once the basic sketch is done, we can sort of layer the armor onto the body. Make sure to do very straight lines for the armor. And use a French curve if you want the lines to be extra precise. If you use a toy of the character you want to draw, use it for reference. Unfortunately, the action figures from Foxforge toys are still in production. So I will need to use photos for reference. But there are loads to be found on their Instagram account, so that won't be a problem. Which means if you want to give them a go as well, just check it out on Instagram and draw one of their characters. So let's do some armor! First we will erase everything down a little bit. Then we will sort of layer the armor onto the muscles. Use helplines to achieve a correct result, especially with technical stuff. When detailing, use this little neat trick. Draw a lot of parallel lines, sometimes all the way through and sometimes you break them up. Makes your drawing way more interesting, especially since we will use no or at least not many hatching lines in this one. This is a great way to add more confusion and makes the armor or the robot parts way more interesting. And you can cover some disparities with this confusion. The last layer, if you want to call it that, would be the details like this grenade and the spray paint that sign on the helmet. Ok my friends, I'm done with the line work and pencils for the main character. And since this character is totally in the front, I will use my 0.1 fine liner to ink him already. And after I've done that, I will sketch in the other characters and ink them as well. Cause this way I will not erase something from the main character by accident. So let's ink real quick! One down, nine, five. Ok, as you can see, the main character is saved in inks. Now I can construct the other characters, draw through the main character, erase as much as I like, nothing can happen to him. Which means it's time for the pencil again and sketching out those soldiers. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.
Okay people, the most important part is done. Everything is inked. Which means the next step to do is to define the strong blacks and do all the line weight. In my case, the light will come from this direction. If you have space enough on your drawing, do like I did and draw a small arrow for the light source. So you will be remembered all the time from where the light hits the character. When you draw robots or heavily armed characters like I did right here, it's not necessary to use a lot of strong blacks. You don't have to do that. Even I will try to keep it a little bit more loose because then the metal plates look more shiny. So just keep that in mind. And I have an extra tip for the line weight. In my case, I will stay true to my style because it's supposed to be a Dr. Rocket drawing. So I will do the usual line weight as you know it. But what's also really cool with drawings like that when you draw like Iron Man or Transformers or stuff like that, then it's also really cool to use a very thick outline. And to show you what I mean, I scanned the drawing and printed it out smaller so I can show you real quick. Let me just demonstrate that real quick on this extra piece of drawing. You can see it pops out really cool instantly and when you add some small lines now you have a great contrast. Some really thin lines, shading lines Just sketching this out real quick so you know what I mean. And here you can see what great contrast you can achieve. When you do a thing like that, make sure that the line like here from the belt and from the hip is also quite thick but not as thick as the outline which defines the end of the character. But the plan in my drawing is to stick to my usual line weight I use all the time. So let's do that! Always try to work on the line first, where another line will end into like these. Line weight is done. And you might remember our little new guest. Jöran Gutan Klaus. Quite the fun fella. He's growing like crazy. Such a fun little dude. But he needs to go back in his cage now. Okay, but now it's time for the strong blacks. And I have something new to show you. A new brush pen. And I want to try it out now. It's the same one David Finch uses. So I guess it's good. So let's do some strong blacks. Okay people, the strong blacks are done and also all the details on the shiny armor. As you can see in this case, I didn't just blacken out the strong black areas like here. I just did a million lines, so it's a little bit brighter actually. But still a shade, you know what I mean? This gives them a more metallic look. But you can also blacken out these areas. That's just a style choice. And speaking of strong blacks, this brush pen is really good. I really like it. The tip is very long, a little bit harder than my other brush pen. So it might be easier to use this one. The cap also fits in here. This is great. And the best thing about this one are the inks, because it's not smudging at all. I don't know what kind of ink this is and I will have to figure it out when it's empty. But it's way better than the other one, because the other one is like 
smudge fest. Okay, now we will use a variety of different pens to do all the hatching and cross hatching and all the tiny little details which will bring this drawing way more to life as it is now. So, let's do that! And I guess I am done, my friends. Commander Alder and his troops. Ready to conquer or to fight or whatever the comic will be about. Standing on a nice piece of rock and there might be some planets in the background, but I'll leave that to the colorist. Which brings me to the colorist, which is a guy you already know. His name is Mike Bowie. To be found on Instagram as Chroma Comic. And he did such a great job on my Iron Man cover, so I thought he would be the right man to do the job. So a big thank you and a big shout out again to Mike Bowie from Chroma Comic. And now let's see what he came up with. This is the inked version, and that's the colored version. Amazing, don't you think? Very well done, Mike. You're the best. So I dare say Fox Forge Toys will be happy with the result and they also have been talking about to bring out more issues than one. So I guess we will see us again, Fox Forge Toys. And I will keep you guys updated about the Kickstarter of my comic book cover. Well, it's not just a cover, it's a whole comic book. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my future videos, especially the one where I talk about this drawing again. And if you haven't already, also check out this video. That's where I drew the Iron Man cover. It's the one which Mike Bowie also colored. And he did a pretty good job doing so. And that's why I first thought of him for this project. And if you would like to color today's drawing, just let me know per email. I can send you the scan and you can go nuts with it. But now see you on this video.